Marhaba ya shabab. welcome to a brand new video. In the previous video we, we started to write the first unit test. Um, basically what we did, we were setting up this local SQL file where we had free uh, data and free, free entries, free tasks and this local SQL file test minus data is just now a local test database which we are going to use. For our unit tests, this was the first test we wrote. We were just checking if the entry with the number of the ID 111 is not null. Now let's write another test. Um, just copy those lines. And yeah, because uh, yeah, we will use the um, test minus data SQL file for all the tests. Write a new test. Um, Okay, so I will call this test when task. Uh, what we are going to do when all tasks are fetched, then check for the uh, number of records. Okay. Uh, as the name already implies, we will use uh, our option on test to fetch all the data here. And this should be equal to the number of records in test data SQL. So, uh, object on the test, find all. And we need a local variable for it. Just uh, call it tasks. Uh, this should be, of course, a list of tasks. Okay. Nice. We can just do, the, do this stuff here. Give, given them. Uh, given, uh, this is a mistake. It should be when. And uh, yeah. So I have a typo in here. Should be also when then assert I would say and we will assert assert that the tasks size dot is equal to number of records. So uh, now run again all the tests. I hope now my ID is a little bit faster. The problem is with the recording. I see the recording takes up a lot of memory of my device. Uh, but as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm hopefully getting a new MacBook soon. Uh, yeah, this this recording stuff should be done a bit more as smooth a process for all of us. Now the tests are running. And, okay. And yeah, just let me just take a look what we can test next. Let's see, is it finished? Still running. Okay, should be now done, hopefully. First test passed, the te second task passed, uh, test passed. Okay, nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I want, I want to continue with testing. 
maybe I will write now all unit tests and then after that I will just uh, run all tests. Um, the next test should be when I'm deleting something. Okay, okay when task is deleted, then check for the size of list. Okay. Basically what I'm doing now is I will call our object on the test. Let's delete delete by ID. I will delete let's say the task 111 but we can also delete another task 113 let's delete the last one then I will fetch again all the data now we can have it a little bit more properly like given when delete is execute uh, actually not it's also given when done because we already doing some things here when um, as we have now only we delete one task we only have instead of three we have two tasks this should be now two um, as I mentioned before I just will write now the other tests and then I will go through all uh, and yes, next test. Next, next test. So, uh, uh, when all open tasks are queried and check for the correct number okay of open tasks so basically what we are doing here is we just querying all the open tasks and then check how many open tasks there are this is also a reason why I just added those fields here should be then this one, one okay uh, okay, okay, okay now uh, what we basically we need this one again but instead of find all we say query all open tasks, nice. And then we again uh, assert that. This should be now our field number of okay. Uh, the next test will be the same, I would say, just for the closed task see if this also works properly so uh, closed tasks number of closed tasks and uh, yeah yeah we changed it again number or closed tasks number Of closed tasks and uh, yes next test uh, I want to I want to see if there uh, I want to test the description um, uh, so for the next test I want to just add test description just right here uh, 
then this description is queried then check if description already exists and I have uh, do I have a typo in here description mm, okay I don't, I don't see I don't see the typo but okay it's just an ID error nice Oh, yeah. oh my god, in Bel Arabi. Okay, we have this does the description exist, and we want to check if this also works properly. Then, basically, we have tested all the uh, methods we have here inside. We have tested the front task, like you see here, and then we have also tested the uh, we have also tested the query all and closed all and and this one we test now. Okay, for this okay for this I would say object and the test. Does description exist? Now just take a description that already exists take I don't know a uh, second test to do we have some kind of this already here but we need to save it in a local variable again introduce local variable yes, description exists it's called the first one and um, Let's try it another one, but with as you can see, we have here first test to do, second test to do, third test to do. This is our description. Just take something else like mm, feed, feed the cat. Nice. And now we can test it. Say again, assert that. Yeah. I hope you hear me still because my, my MacBook is quite slow right now. Okay, uh, say this should be uh, is true because we already have some uh, um, task like this. Then it's true. Yes. And for the second one, here we just say it should be false because we don't have a feed the cat here. Okay. Looks so far so good, I would say. Run all the tests. And uh, let's hope this runs a little bit faster than the test before. Okay, this is now running. Just in the meantime, um, if these tests passes all, then we will move on to the service class. Uh, there we will also have a bunch of test methods, even more than here, because um, here, to be honest, we just had uh, we just added four method signatures, as you can see, and all the stuff from here from the JPA repository, like we have here. We have uh, let me scroll to the right point, find all. This is from the JPA repository, so this is basically stuff you don't need to test because you can be sure before this library published to the public uh, those those people who wrote the those people who wrote the library they already um, tested it enough for for the, for the rest of the world and yeah um, and then yeah if now all the tests surpasses 
then um, we will go and in the next video we will write some unit tests for the service class as you can see everything passed it's nice um, yeah just to show you something if I would say now it's true the test should of course fail so I'll just run it again Uh, yeah, so these are basically all the tests I have written for the repository. And just waiting now to, to show you this, this test should fail now. And then, as I mentioned, we will move on to the service class, the task service. There will be a lot of test methods inside of it. And then after that, we are done with the unit testing because for the controller, we will write some uh, integration tests to test properly, to mock the endpoints, to test them, and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, and then we should be done with this uh, tutorial series for the backend application. And uh, yeah, then I will publish uh, something properly. As you can see now, it failed because I change it to false and it says to me uh, we were expecting it to be true but it was false and as you can see and if you if I change it now to uh, to false it will be okay again and yeah that's basically it if you have any questions just please let me know in the comment section like and subscribe and I see you in the next video إلى اللقاء يا شباب